I know it does seem like I'm spending a lot of money here on the channel. First, I announced a new printer. We've got a Bricklink haul coming tomorrow. But when I saw this Commander Doom custom minifigure, I could not resist picking it up. And I did pick up a few other minifigures. We've got a total of six to get through for this video and also a little update to the clone wall. So let's waste no time and take a look at the first minifigure. If you've ever seen my custom clone display on the back and wondered where some of these minifigures are from, we've got Bly, we've got an Anaxis Trooper, a 212 Airborne right at the top. They come from Floney clones and you might have seen my last video where i collected as many legions as i could now displayed on the wall in only a 90 minute stream much like that video we've again been given a free minifigure to promote feloni clones brand new website now if you're not a fan of live auctions and trying to outbid people to get the minifigure you want you can buy them for a fixed price and right now for this week only they are giving away free shipping to all orders above £10. Not only that, you also get £10 free credit when you join Whatnot using the link at the top of the website. The free minifigure I got was Clone Captain of the 65th Legion, Grey, who was the clone captain who served under Depa Balaba. And if we can remove the helmet without any problems, you can see they are using custom faces underneath as well, which do differ from the clone trooper head we are used to. But for the purpose of this video, I will be replacing them all with the typical Lego clone head so that they fit in with the others in my collection. Grey is listed on the website right now with 30% off, only £7, which is why I enjoy collecting these minifigures because you can get them for so much more cheaper, which means a bigger clone army. And alongside getting the figure, you also get this fun sticker of Filoni Clones logo, which you might remember in the last video, I stuck to my top, but have since made magnets and you can really stick this everywhere. Thanks again to Sam and Natalie, but let's get on with the other figures in my haul. To go with Commander Doom, who you will be seeing towards the end of this video, I have this ARC Trooper, who once again, we're not going to want that head and we're going to replace it with an official Lego Clone Trooper one. But the details on this minifigure are really, really cool. First off, we have this backpack, which I think is very similar to the Galactic Marine we got in our last haul, except for with the appropriate change colours from this darker pinkish red to the green we see on the Doom clones. Not only that, but we have 360 degree printing. You can see the sides of the legs and the sides of the torsos have been printed as well as the back of the legs. The only thing that's untouched is the underside of the legs. But I really think this makes for a fine addition alongside Commander Doom. They're not the only clone troopers we have got as the purge troopers that show up in the Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor franchise are also clone troopers. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take off this head and replace it with an official Lego one. If you were worried about getting your head stuck so far, these are fresh from the bags. We haven't had any problems removing the helmets from these minifigures. And that is why I shop through Filoni clones. You might be able to get these figures in a few other locations, but Filoni clones only sends out the best of the best. 180 degree printing on that torso, which is really nice. This is a lot closer to the official style of a minifigure. So I think it will please a few more of you, but we're not done yet. Because this next one, I think I'm gonna have to fill you in with a little backstory. So last year, my fiance's parents took us to Spain. And whilst we were away, I'd already been with them and I got addicted to Lemon Fanta, which isn't too common over here in the UK, but it was everywhere where we were staying in Spain and my fiance was addicted to Sprite. So with that filled in, let's take a look at these new minifigures. The first minifigure is of course a Fanta bottle, not just any Fanta bottle, but a lemon Fanta bottle. And once again, let's see if we can pop this off without getting the head of the minifigure. So far, we are yet to foul on one, which I'm afraid we can't say the same about Lego. But the detail on this minifigure is really, really cool. And these will probably end up in my Lego City. I'm actually thinking of giving them a lemonade stand because like I said, it's not the only minifigure. We also got this Sprite minifigure. Once again, let's see if we can pop it off without taking the head with it. Look at that, clean sweep so far. These minifigures are so highly detailed. 
like nothing from Lego. And though they don't share the same side of the torso print in that we see in a few of our popular Jedi Masters over in Star Wars and a few of the clone troopers as well. We do get some side of the leg printing. In fact, there was back of the leg printing as well, which is something a lot of custom companies have taken on. Front and back of the torso and also on the guy in the green jacket, we've got some of that really cool arm printing with a cuff and a pocket on either side. But like I said, I was addicted to Fanta and my fiance was addicted to Sprite. So I'm actually gonna swap around the bottle tops before I add them into the Lego City and keep an eye out in the next update for the lemonade stand or perhaps an unbranded carbonated beverage. Now you've waited long enough, I think it's time to open the minifigure that you all came here for, Commander Doom. And I just want to prove that I am opening these before I stand them, I guess there's, I guess they're Ziploc bags, so I could have opened them before I'm showing you. You have to take my word for it, and three, two, one, pops off without taking the head. This head is slightly different to the others. I'm not sure if you'll be able to make out. It's quite an obvious difference. You've got the marking up the left hand side. I'm not sure if we see Doom's face in the episode that they are in, but it's a really nice clone trooper. We do have that printed karma on it and a few of these clones have come with karmas and pauldrons that are really really nice i'm definitely gonna try my hand at 3d printing the ones that aren't missing but we get some arm print inside of the torso side of the leg all the way around and if i take off the karma you can just see a bit better the printing on the legs which i think is really cool because they don't print the karmas down you still have the straps that you see at the front and they are followed the whole way around on the legs but if you wanted to take them off and perhaps represent a version without the karma it's very easy to do i almost forgot to upgrade the head on doom to be the clone trooper head and if you know of anywhere i can buy some different custom head pieces please do let me know down in the comments because at the minute most of them share the same headpiece except for fives rex and commander cody but with commander doom out of the way we can now take a look at the clone wall behind because I have a bunch of new hexagons I have printed with my brand new 3D printer to add to the wall. In fact, before I do that, you might be able to notice some of these hexagons are around the wrong way. They're meant to have the thinner gap towards the front, but some of them have a much thicker gap. So I have to swap a few of these around and then we can look at the complete wall. And here we are with the newly updated, you can see bottom right, we've got Doom and Doom's Arc Trooper. We've then got Great bottom left and the other, oh, the other one was the Purge Trooper, which is just up here on the shelf at the minute. It's really surprising how dark my room gets when the light isn't on it. I can see that perfectly fine, but the camera just can't pick it up because there's no direct light. You can also see this red hex up the top here isn't complete. And that is because it wasn't originally meant to go there, although it does mean we can build up and that is really nice. I printed this half one to fit on this corner here and fit it does with enough distance between it and the wall for it not to cause any problems and rub the plastic the wrong way. So not only can we get another I think about six minifigures down that left hand side. This is right up to the desk. It's the highest my desk goes, so there is no fear of crushing it. As long as I don't forget to not put anything directly under them, we can fit another six minifigures on the left and continue building this wall up. So I'm sure there will definitely be a few more custom clones on this wall before long. But massive shout out to Filoni Clones. I'll leave the link to the website in the description where you can also find the whatnot stream and i'm so happy with how this wall's coming along that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed and actually before we wrap up let's take a look over at the lego city because i do have the minifigure bottle characters i don't really the lemon fanta and the sprite over by the library ready for the lemonade stand but this time i promise that's all for this video Thank you so much for making it to the end and I hope you enjoyed because I have so much fun building my clone collection. Check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.